Hi and welcome to my channel. Um, just thought I'd uh, share a recent um, eBay purchase with you. This, uh, I believe, was just purely for spares or repair. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, he's a bit beat up this one. <laughs> Bless. So we've got um, a Roberts R200 by the looks of it. If you can see that. The light's shining on that a bit. Roberts R200. Um, dating, I think. Probably early 60s, late 50s, early 60s, possibly. Um, we've got various things wrong with it. We've got the wrong knob there, the um, decorative brass tops missing off of that one. Um, but say, I've got a few of these. Again, the grill's dented, no badge, handle shot. But um, as I say, the main thing with the handles is you need to make sure if you buy one of these without a handle that you've got these pieces on because as long as you've got those you can actually uh, they're actually soldered in believe it or not those you can actually just stick a normal belt on it I have got uh, I must pick another one up I've got a belt that I picked up off the internet there which is a red belt but um, gives you an idea you can um, get new belts for these. They're not brilliant though to be honest, that was a pretty rough. But you know, it's better than not having a belt at all. So, so far then, knob's wrong, bright's missing off the top of that knob, handle's broken, no badge, mashed in grill. Again, um, grills are available from Roberts still. They're a different colour and a different size, but these will go in with a bit of hot glue or something in behind. So that will just just fit inside there. So say they are still available and they're on eBay, which is where I got these from, I believe. It's worth picking up as many spares as you can get your hands on. It won't be long before you won't get anything for these radios. So let's have a look inside. So we've got the serial number on the door there. Hinge looks intact, which is good news, and the catch is intact, which is also good news. This has got the um, AF series transistors in it. <laughs> These sort of jump out at you, don't they? So we've got one here, look. Like, and one here. It looks like someone's changed that one. I don't know what that is. Let's have a quick look and see which shaft transistor that is they put in there. AF. AF127 they got in there. Oh, that's good. That saves me one transistor. <laughs> so we've got an AF127, but what I'd probably do is put another AF117 back in there and just keep that one. I suspect some of you are screaming, oh no, no, it's better, but um, end of the day, I did manage to get some AF-117s the other day, so uh, I do have plenty of those in my um, little stock there, so I might just to make it look nice, because these, you can't really hide it, once you open the back door, it's, it's there in your face. I expect we'll also find some of these old uh, Plessy electrolytics are no good. Very often they just hairline crack on the top here. These seem okay, well that one looks a bit, little bit loose. So I expect these to have to go. Uh, I don't think I've actually got one of these sets for the AF117s in. Someone's done a horrible job on sealing up the um, I of course, oh dear me, I don't know what they've done there. So poor polyfiller down there or something. Anyway, I think there is wax underneath it, 
so we could get at those if, if absolutely necessary. Also we've got a bit of battery leakage down in this side, you probably noticed it there. It's a bit of rust, there's rust on this. I've done one of these before, in fact it's in bits beside me because uh, there's, there's a fault. I've spent ages trying to find the fault, I just can't find it at the moment. So uh, it's one of those ones, put it down and try it again another day and you'll find it straight away. We're also missing a battery terminal by the looks of it. That's well gone. Again, I've got spares of those. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to get um, some battery terminals on there and we'll hook it up. Okay, I've um, popped a couple, well, I've got, there was one already on there, but I've just put another uh, battery snap on. Luckily, I did pick up um, a little packet of those last time I was at a radio rally. But it seems that um, these are the rarest ones with the little sort of uh, castle connector for the negative, well, for the positive. I've got, I've got some of those in here but um, this is nearly all the other terminal which is just turns out that that's the one I wanted so uh, good news. Right let's connect it up see if it uh, goes bang. It's not a brilliant connection actually let's just tighten it up a little bit. Don't go mad with this because you'll snap them off, but uh, these always benefit from a little tweak inwards. That's better. Okay, now that um, just sits up in there like that. So what do you think? Will it work or won't it? Let's have a look then. Oh, it's a little pop. And we've got issues with the tuning dial. It only goes to there and stops. Volume was full power. <laughs> There is some little noises <laughs> there, but not a lot. Let's have a look in the back. So what I suspect it is, is those AF 117s. Someone's done them once, and um, they've done one. That's definitely got them in. And that one. Now let's uh, get the chassis apart and I'll whip those out. 